Hello and welcome to a new video. So today was the release of the new Need for Speed trailer. So what we're going to do here is break it down and try and point out all the cars that we can see in this trailer. There are some surprises when you slow down this video. So let's get to it. So first of all we see a Nissan GTR R35. Looks like it's been pulled over by the cops. We've got the Crown Victoria, classic cop car coming back. And then it looks like the main bad guy with a Chevy Camaro. Nice ride. I believe that's going to be. But I'm going to need those keys right now. I said right now! And then it all starts kicking off. So Mitsubishi Evo 10, we can see sliding in there. Another R35 GTR. And a Lamborghini Diablo in the background with a Mercedes C63 AMG going through the traffic. Pole Star 1, you're going to see a lot of that with a Porsche 911. And then an FD RX7. Evo 10 comes back with a uh, Ford Mustang followed up. And again, the Crown Victoria. So. Let's see what else this trailer brings in. So After so, no if you don't have the Pulsar one, you're going to see a lot of it. This car don't dominates this trailer. Now we go to a race and you can see R35 with a BMW M2 and a Ford Mustang on pole. We split and quick freeze frame, got a Mitsubishi Evo 10 grille and then Porsche 911 Carrera GTS. So you know it's GTS, we'll see it later in the trailer and a Dodge Viper hood. Next up, Got the Ford Mustang, classic iconic muscle car from America. And then finally, again, the Pulsar one. So I'm going to freeze it here at this grid and we're going to hold it. So it looks like on pole we've got a Lamborghini Countach, followed by a Porsche 911, then a Viper on the bottom uh, row with a Nissan R34 Skyline on the top row. Then it looks like maybe an R35 or a Mustang, followed by a BMW. WM2 by the looks of it, the FD RX7 there in red, and the Pulsar 1 uh, in white, then bring up the rear, it looks like the black Evo 10, and then finally it looks like maybe a 350 or 370Z, that final car with a nose right at the end, just there, not quite sure what that one is, so if you think you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. So we're going to have to slow this next bit down quite a lot, Pulsar 1 followed by Evo and a C63, Rotiform wheel with an R34 and a Dodge Viper, and then you can see Porsche 911 and then the uh, Dodge Viper R34 again. CLC 63 AMG sliding through there as well, and then we can see the Porsche 911 there, and we'll see why it's a GTS confirmed in a moment. Pause it here, can see a Porsche 911 with R34 behind it, unsure what the other two cars are. Then we've got Evo 10 with the FD RX7 returning, the red one there, and a Viper in the background. Then in the very, very background, we can see the Lamborghini Countach, which returns again in a second. Now an interesting one, we've got a Countach in the foreground here with the Evo 10, a Mustang, and a Porsche in the back. And then we freeze it here with the Dodge Viper and FD RX7 facing off, and confirmation that is a Carrera a GTS in the video. Pulsar 1 makes a return with a quick slip of a Mitsubishi Evo 10 in there. Now we go to a good old street race and if we slow it down there you can see neon lights underneath the Evo 10 and street racing, drag racing. Then we see a Porsche 911 RWB, looks like an older one there. Uh, we've done a quick freeze frame and then a Diablo. It looks like a GTR because the roof scoop there, but it may not be, let's see later on. We race across the beach with a Viper R34 and a Porsche. And then we see the R34 with the Zilla. Back to more action from the Polestar. Diablo again, so there, I think that confirms it's not a GTR because it does have the vents at the bottom. And then we've got the Polestar 1, again with a Porsche in the background. Then we have the face-off of the Nissan GTR with an FD RX7. Polestar 1 again. Gets flipped, gets broken. And then gets modified. And then we have a quick freeze frame here of the Diablo Porsche R35. Again, the Diablo with the uh, roof scoop. And then a R35 with a looks like BMW M2 just ahead. And then we have some street racing with Evo 10 and R34. And then we'll freeze it here because that is a E46 BMW M3. Now things are going to get fast. So we've got M4, I believe, with two Ford Mustangs in a street race. And then if we pause it here and zoom in, it looks like a BMW E46 M3, as well as maybe an E292 M3. That's the one with the V8 engine. 
next we have a, a shot from the hood of a car and it looks like maybe a 240Z or maybe that red RX-7 from earlier in the trailer. Then we do a switch to another race where we see Dodge Viper again, but interestingly enough, looks like an R32 GTR and maybe even an E30 M3 just on the right hand side just there. Now again we're slowing it down and it looks like a Corvette cop car there and then the pull star one again as it goes past. And then we pause it here, the Evo 10 getting pulled over by a cop just on the side there. These cars are going to come quick and fast now. Lamborghini couldn't touch, white one just there. Next up, pull star one again and then on the right hand side it looks like a BMW M2 again. Now the big one here, which is a Ferrari 488 GTB, Conf Ferrari confirmed for Need for Speed again. And then the black car on the right just there, maybe an Audi A4 at A5. And then we move on and a Mercedes AMG on the four poster lift. And we shoot through and then it looks like the, maybe the new Corvette and the Paul Star right. one again, the hero You're car of this trailer. So what do you think of the trailer? What do you think of the cars that I've got there? Do you think I've got any wrong? Do you think I've got any of them right? Do you think there's any that I've maybe misplaced or didn't see? If you do, let me know, put it in the comments below. Um, and if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And until the next time, have a good one.